Hi guys, welcome back to another John Sinclair TV. Back again to do a match day vlog. It's back. The match day vlog is back. Football is back. The Castle United are back. And here we are tonight. I'm outside Ibrox Stadium where we are going to be playing tomorrow against one of the biggest clubs in Scotland in Glasgow Rangers. It is going to be one hell of a game tomorrow for the Alan McGregor's testimonial. So guys, if you like the video and you enjoy what you watch, then please give it a like, hit that subscribe button as well. And if you'd like to become a member, it is just 99p. So I really am looking forward to this game tomorrow night. And the reason is, it's because it's going to be a sellout Ibrox. And I'm fully hoping to see Newcastle United field a strong team. I like to see players like Bruno Joe come back in and I'd like to see also Botman, Shah. In fact, the, the first team is, is going to come here as well because if 8th is going to come here, then we fully expect a very strong team because we don't want to get fleeced out as well. Pay 26 quid a ticket for this game. And you know what it is? It is really it's worth it. I know people's going to say it's a lot of money to um, go to testimonial, but at the end of the day, right, if you love Newcastle United, that doesn't really matter how much it's going to cost you, done it. So it is all it, you pay some money, it takes its choice. So I travel up this morning at half past seven, took a bit of a break. Then I stopped in at a place called Crookston, which is a couple miles away from the city centre. I went in the city centre today and it looks very impressive. It's absolutely huge. Glasgow has a population of 1.7 million. It's just absolutely gigantic. So we're going to Newcastle and get them put together. But then again, Newcastle is a massive night. Yeah. But the hotel I paid for, I've spent two nights, spent two nights in a hotel. I've paid 34 quid for one night, 47 quid the other night. So it takes eight quid for two nights. That ain't bad. So I'm going to get a continental breakfast on that as well. So that ain't bad at all. The staff are lovely. And one of the staff in there causes youngin', and which is a bit of a complimentary, really. But on to the game, and we will be housed in the Broadway stand tomorrow, I think it is, which is going to be packed um, with uh, Newcastle fans, of course. I'm going to be sitting way back into the gods, probably one more row before the back. So in an ideal way, it's perfect for me to do my vlogs. And listen, at the end of the day, you've got to do the best that you can. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you around to a tour. I don't know if I can get in the stadium, I very much doubt it, but we just have a look around people and um, we're just going to have a little look around outside the stadium, just the best we can and we just go for that. There you go guys, so just outside the Rangers Stadium where we're going to be housed tomorrow, 8,000 people is going to come here and pack the way end and it's going to be one hell of a be at tomorrow. So, you know, if, it, if there's anything about it, then it's going to be a cracking game and it's going to be plenty, plenty of fan camps and it's also going to be um, the stadium camps as well so keep your eyes filled for that people and I'm looking forward to it Also, I've just been to um, one of the legend stands as well. You got Argyle House, and you also got the San Di Jardine stand as well, which is, of course, these are legend at Rangers as well, with lots of cups, lots of trophies. And listen, the fans think he's an idol, but if that's what he is, then that's cool. It says there, ready. And then the hard box them. Just for those who are hashtag ready. Newcastle United will be ready tomorrow night quarter to eight. About half past nine, where we go a couple of goals up. Let's hope we smash these because at the end of the day, right, we need to beat these. If it's friendly or not, we need to get this win and let them know that it's further, we're running around the battle, we're the battle of Britain, it's the battle of Britain match this is, and I'm well up for it. The players are well up for it, even though it's friendly. I think it's going to be friendly now. I think both teams are going to be And as the Newcastle goes on top as long as you get up on, um, escape the injuries and don't get anything bad, just come back with a clean, clean state of health, which would be very interesting. There you are. I mean, this is says Rangers FC, welcome to Ibox Stadium. And look, like I said, it's, like, it's uh, absolutely fantastic stadium player football and you know what it is right 
I mean, Rangers won lots and lots of um, trophies, league titles, Scottish Cups, and the Scottish League Cup as well. And listen, you know, that's all you expect. When you play for a club like Rangers, then you expect to win at least a trophy every single season. But at the minute, Celtic are just too good and too powerful at this moment in time. But at the end of the day, I mean, look, listen, I mean, the Rangers fans, I mean, I heard a lot of people say about their fans, it's not a good set of fans, but I'm not going to get into that. All we'll talk about is Newcastle United. And I haven't seen any of the fans around here yet. I spoke to a couple of Celtic fans, you know, but nothing alarmingly, just a quick chat, and that is it. So, I want to try and get in the stadium, I doubt I will, but I don't know what to do today, guys. So, yeah, I'll try my best. Okay. No, 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 sorry. Just being shown at the stadium as well. I have to keep quiet because I shouldn't be here, so. Give us 20 seconds, yeah. That's cool. Come on. We'll come out. Right, there's a the stadium going to be tomorrow. It looks an impressive stadium, don't it? Yeah, it's going to be packed 50,000 people in that stadium. 8,000 Newcastle United fans are going to be here. And if it's full, the atmosphere will be fantastic. And this is the way where we're going to be tomorrow. Jumping up and down, it'll be fantastic. So I ain't supposed to be in, but there you go. That's the day you're going to play. Impressive stadium, isn't it? Look at it. Absolutely fantastic. There's the suite, and there's your stadium. Quickly, and this is the way out. Thank you very much. And there's two stars for coming as you go along. And this is push us open, that's the exit. And thank you very much. Take care. So, thank you. Do you know what? I just couldn't believe that I was allowed in the stadium to have a look around. Yeah, I mean, he took a chance. I've asked him, he said no at the minute, and then he changed his mind. He said, No, what come in, lad. So, I did. So, I went in, followed him accidentally fielding from behind. I got a slap on wrist for that. But we in the stadium, had a look around in iBox inside the stadium and the pitch is absolutely immaculate as you just saw in the video. And where we're gonna to stand tomorrow looks absolutely impressive. I mean, listen, at the end of the day, right? I mean, it's just, I could have just sat down for five minutes and just do me vlogging in there sort of thing. If I did that, that would be an absolute dream. It really would be. However, I wasn't allowed to they were really good, just gotta have a look. I've done that and it looks really good, it looks really nice. When you do a mash day vlog or mash day travel vlog and you, you have to look at the stadium as well. And if you do that, it just be the ice on top of the cake, no matter where it is. But like I said, I'm out now and I've just done an interview as well with Joanne, which I'm gonna display a little alarm. She's from Northern Ireland, so keep your eyes peeled for that one, please. And I think it's, she's got very interesting things to say. But, like I said, I've got to go back home in a minute, back in the hotel. I've got a short night to do at 8 o'clock, which is math, um, up close with Matthew and from the Black and White Banter. That would be a great show as well, guys. And I haven't met anyone yet. I only met a couple of Newcastle fans here. Yeah, you know, no one me yet. They're looking forward to the game tomorrow. I spoke to a Rangers fan, one or two of them. They're looking forward to the game tomorrow. And you know what, guys? I think it's going to be a special night tomorrow in at this testimonial game and I think it's going to be more than that to be fair because Rangers versus Newcastle it's not a battle of Britain isn't it it's a massive game when those two teams play together it's a massive game it seems to me who's the best of British on the night for us it's going to be Newcastle I hope and I'll be back again tomorrow and um, I it's going to be brilliant it's going to be a sure and a half and you know what if you like the video please drop a like, hit that subscribe button please, and until then guys, I'll catch you all tomorrow, and enjoy your evening, take care.